or if you have any information that can help me um, uh, present uh, a federal to the federal uh, uh, courts of civil rights violation, human rights violation, I was uh, assaulted by the police. I was assaulted by them. I was put in the hospital. I wasn't arrested. And then I filed charges against the police, the ones who assaulted me. And the, the person who investigate my complaint is one of the officers that assaulted me, Sergeant Molly. And he refuses to give me a copy of my report, even till this date. I have called them several times and have not got a copy of my report as far as what was done. So now I'm concerned that this guy is, is, is probably trying to um, uh, uh, manipulate or do something with my records uh, before he give them to me because there's no reason for the delay, none. Um, I'm entitled to it. But if there's any legal profession or uh, professional person anywhere in the world who may can help us or help me with this situation, please get in touch with me. Again, my name is Russell Davis. My number is 585-775-9847. I would appreciate any help, any advice, anything that you can do, I would appreciate to, to the utmost. I'm unemployed, so I really can't afford to pay anybody. So if you do it, it's gonna have to be, um, you know, an act of kindness. And I appreciate that, and I thank you for that right now. Thank you. If you ain't got no gun to say, get up off my property, Ain't nobody doing Sometimes nothing. Sometimes in those you, situations, there is, you listen, gotta move. Listen to me. There is no control. You can't control somebody else. You can control yourself, but you cannot control another person. And what people fail to realize, when people do things in front of your home to make it look like it's coming out of your home, and then you're 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 asking the city for some payback, for some structure, for what they did to your children, and how they mentally just the the just the traumatized, torment. Traumatized. My kids are beyond traumatized. My kids rather sit down after they do their homework, play video games till dinner time. They rather find some in the house by painting or doing things. If you go in my house right now, look at my refrigerator. You see all my kids' handprints from paint on the refrigerator because my kids don't want. They terrified. My kids are scared. I mean, literally out of their mind, scared just to come outside in their front yard. My landlord put a fence up, finally, but then now they telling him he got to take it down because it's over three feet. How can you, how you can get injustice like that? I feel like me and my family is just a little bit safer with that fence in front of my house than not to be safe at all. I got two dogs. When you met me, I had one. I got two dogs. I feel like I need to be protected some kind of way. If the police aren't, say, on the side of their car to protect and serve, why don't you protect and serve? Why don't you do your job accordingly? Do your job how the policy is telling y'all how to do it. I done looked this up when I was 18 years old. I wanted to be a cop. Now all this stuff that I'm going through with my family and my kids and seeing people get, uh, a police officer got shot in the face. His whole side of his face was gone six years ago for doing a traffic stop. That tore my heart up. I didn't want to be a cop no more. So now I just want to be an at-home mom. I love to do poetry. I love to cook. I love to do hair. I like to find things that's going to occupy my time because I'm scared of the public. So my kids are my motivation. That's my number one key. But I'm, all this BS that the police are doing, they need to stop. They need to wake up and stop. They're going to mess around and run to somebody's house and shoot somebody's child for doing a raid. I have it a four-year-old daughter that with seizures. Before. I have a 10-year-old daughter with asthma. Do you think I would want to lose one of my little girls after I done lost both of them almost once a piece? Well, they have one in there People got to realize they need to take their time and, ju and do their job accordingly. If you saying you, if the cop saying that he looked in the yard or in the hallway and see if there was tricycles in the yard, I think they should have did it more, just a little bit more professionally. And I was very cooperative with them. Very respectable. I didn't disrespect anybody. They, they treat us like we as animals. They sliced up my kids' beds. They did all that. But now I want to be the one. Out of 500 searches a year, I got to be 501. And out of those 501, I want to be the one to stand up and fight back and say, you're not going to do this to my family anymore, and I'm not going to have it. I'm not. 
It's just too much and it's ridiculous. They have no idea the things they do to people that can hurt them. I just... What they did to me and my family was wrong. It was just outrageous. I wouldn't want nobody to ever go through something like that. Make it easy. That's why we are my here kids to, are to more, make a change. That's my kids are, are more traumatized than me, but when it hits me sometimes and I just think, it hurts. It really, really hurts because y'all coming at innocent families. Stop coming at the innocent and work on the outside. Work on the outside before you work on the inside. You're gonna find all your answers.